number 12. Um, we've got uh, pads on today. Um, I decided our kids didn't practice well yesterday, as I said, I think. Um, I guess I didn't say that to you guys. Um, but, you know, all is well. Um, they're pretty healthy for the most part. Uh, there's a few bees. And uh, just excited to see what they got. And, you know, I think today's our fourth pad day. It's kind of scary. Um, so it's fourth. And uh, we'll get two next week back to back, like a Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, you know, obviously, scrimmage on Sunday. And then we get two the next week, which is game week. So we have three more pad practices after today. And that's what I've been emphasizing. We've got to go out today and have a great day. So, questions? Yeah, Rodney's been good. That's why I kind of threw him out there. You guys know who he is. Right? I've been happy with him as a freshman. I look at you know, like where Vince Davis was as a freshman, I look where he is. Um, you know, he caught an over his shoulder pass the other day. He's impressive. I mean, he's made people miss. Um, you know, I always say good bad is, you know, is his own blocker. You know, be YOB, be your own blocker. And he's got to make people miss, and I think that's what you have to do with that position. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. You know, um, Actually, I put him out there yesterday and he probably had his most average practice, you know, but you're thinking going into it, like he asked me afterwards before he watched the tape, you know, if I watched the practice tape, I'd probably say, hey, get him out of there. But, uh, so we'll see what he's got today. I hope he had the other role. Yeah, he'd get carries. I mean, that's why I wouldn't have put him, you know, put him with you guys if I didn't think so. Uh, he's a guy that's impressed me for at least, you know, 10 practices and 11 20 wasn't so good, so I'm going to smack him on the butt and get him going today. Here's some of the. Who uh, are some of the other true freshmen kind of standing out right now? Oh boy, um, you know all three quarters are, you know Noah, Khalil, and uh, Mary and Crumpley. But I mean, all three of those guys, you know, it's going to be like, you know, and again, are they going to play? Are they going to play four games? They're going to play twelve games, thirteen, fourteen, whatever it's going to be. Um, that, that's still to be said in the secondary. Um, linebacker um, Broadway, you know, Preston's going to be another year just because of the depth of that position, but he's a good, strong football player that's really smart. Um, you go through the D-line. I mean, Elliot Donald continues to get better every day. Been very, very impressed with him. I think he, he's just going to earn more reps as he goes. We'll find out how many games, and, you know, none of it, you know, they don't know that. Um, you know, all three tight ends are doing well. The freshman, you know, you know, obviously, you know, Gavin's been doing really well since spring. But Renda's you know, picked it up and done a nice job, and so has Cole Mitchell. So we're excited to see where they are. Um, you know, O-line's tough. Um, and then the wide out position. You know, I tell you what, uh, Jake Bradley is, you know, he's got, you know, I want to kick him in the butt all every once in a while. You know, come out with a different towel than everybody else. And uh, But he's a great kid. He's a hard worker. He's, he's tough. Um, and, you know, he, you know, nothing facing. So he's got a little swagger to him that I like. Um, you know, I want to get a little bit more we in him than, than me. Um, but uh, I love where he's at right now. And I hope I, maybe his mom will hear that and she'll get after him too. His locker wasn't very clean either, mom. So. Uh, Nate Yarnell is doing a great job. You know, against uh, quarterback, you know, it's tough. Um, you know, again, it's tough just trying to find out who that, you know, number two, number three guy is. And, um, but uh, he's going to be a great quarterback in the future. How much of a gap is there between his defense right now? You know, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, Vince has really turned it on the last few days. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's a battle, you know. Um, it's going to come down to, you know, we're going to come down to Sunday scrimmage. we got to get a lot of carries and find out what they have. One of those things where the game will be finished. Yeah, I mean, someone's going to start. We're going to turn that off of uh, the guy with the ball. They will we'll find out. Maybe he's got the idea. But, uh, you know, where that goes, but um, you know, um, I'd like to say you got a war daddy and we'll go on with them, but Vince is good too. So, you know, when, when Izzy took him over to spring, it was, you know, it's just like, wow, he's big and he's fast, and Vince is fast, not real big, but Vince has made a lot of plays the last few days too. You've got war daddies on the team? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's the war daddy uh, reporter here? Which one of you guys? Who's the war daddy? Oh, sure. John for sure. John for sure. Who's your number one war daddy on the team? Oh boy, war daddy. Boy, it's hard to say. We got a few of them. Um, war daddy. I don't know. Give me, give me twenty-four. We'll talk about it tomorrow. How's uh, how's PJ been doing? I know he was Who's real. PJ O'Brien. How's he been doing? I know he was real fiery in some of the interviews when he first came in. 
Yeah, you know, PJ, you know, he's fiery. Uh, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna talk a lot. He's gonna get in your head. Um, he's doing well. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's better than he was in the spring. I think he knows what he's doing a lot more. Um, he's gonna play for us this year, so there's another freshman that we didn't talk about. He's gonna play for us. Steph Hall's doing a nice job too. I forgot to say things. I went corners, and, but there's so many guys in the secondary that are you know, young, but Steph Hall and him are both guys. I told Steph the other day, like, Steph, just keep going, man. You know, he can find the field. He's just he's smart, he's physical, he's a great tackler. And, uh, you know, you get two different guys, one's in the field, one's in the boundary. Those two are that's a good pair of freshman safeties. Way back in the summer, you know, then name, image, and likeness came around. I was like, you know, again, really the, our leadership council, our Eagles kind of came up with it. You know, because I was asked, hey, what do you want? And it's just being, you know, more about we, not me, and as it is. It's we, we, uh, not me, me. And, you know, just, you know, I just think the world we're living in, everybody thinks about them. It's taking pictures of themselves on Twitter and shooting it out there on Instagram and snap, look at me. And, and uh, you know, it's about the team and what we're here. And that's what, you know, the team on the back of the jerseys are. Um, it's just, you know, being more of a team, which is hard nowadays. So, you know, guys got to focus when they come through those doors. And it's all about the team. Team comes first. Got the number of the Eagles that gets credit for that? Um, no, I think, you know, all of them together. You know, I can't remember, but, you know, yeah, it's an oldie. Yeah, kind of to that point, we just saw the wide receivers. They all waited for each other and walked out together. Uh, you know, how's that posi position group, and you know, how are they working with Coach Marion? They're working great with him. Um, you know, I didn't know that, know they do that. That's good. I like that. Um, uh, I just think it's a kind of, and that's how they are. I mean, we've done some senior talks in the evening, and you know, here's some of the senior wideouts just talk about. You know, they thank. You know, they always make their thanks, and they thank Coach Beatty, and then they just like they're excited about Coach Marion and and what he's done for them. So. Um, you know they're they're enjoying the culture in that room. I think they're having fun, and that's that's part of it. So, Coach Marion's a young guy. What do you want to see in his future? Coach Manlet? Uh Mary. Mary. What do I see in his future? You know, just keep him coach receivers and you know, take care of business right here. I mean, you know, as coaches, it, I never worried about where I was going next. And you know, that, that that's you know, you guys have heard me say this before, but you know, just be in the moment. Be the best receiver coach you can. Don't worry about anything else. I mean, I, I'm not worried about where he. I'm worried about him being a better receiver coach today than he was yesterday. Just like our players, they kind of coach young people, guys. It's, everybody's looking, looking like this. You know, where can I go right next? Where am I going to do my next new news report? Like, you know, do a great job where you are, and good things happen. People come to you, but don't. You don't have to look around. You don't have to worry about me. It's you know, it's, again, the same thing. It's you know, we not me for the coaches too. Uh, so I don't really care about that. You know, just focus on being the best receiver coach and get better every day. And that's what I did my whole career, and that stuff just happens. So, Trey Tipton's been around this program for a while, but you've seen him this year as a leader. Um, you know, Trey's been steady the last really three years. He's been a leader of this team, so I don't see anything new. He's just, you know, he's got more experience, and he continues to, uh, you know, help everybody on our team. But he's, he's like, he's like a sports psychologist he's a he's a psychologist he's a he's a he's a you know, assistant wide receiver coach uh he's a you know the senior consultant so i got a roll i got one minute all right you guys good thank you